Hello everyone, this is Cody Soltis from ConsciousLove.org and I am doing the individual um, fire sign readings um, for the first week, the last week and the first week of May and June, okay? Transitioning into Pride Month. Um, and really, they, they keep telling me in my, you know, meditations, my communications, day-to-day -day walking around, um, that the time for transformation is now. We just ended um, Mercury retrograde, so it's kind of time to start moving forward, but now with this better understanding and this, this new directional light. Um, so maybe you're there and you know where you're going, you'll get some good affirmations from this, or maybe this is the universal energy's way of, you know, giving you that final little nudge. So I'm going to use two decks apparently. <laughs> One is the Soul's Journey Lesson Cards by James Von Prague. The other, whoops, whatever, um, is the Psychic Tarot Cards from uh, John Holland. John Holland. Pretty. So these have beautiful affirmations. Um, and these are just, um, tend to be very emotional for me. So I can already sense that we're going to be digging deep. Um, so enjoy this message. Again, this is a reading, not a healing. You might get some healing aspects from it as you listen along. Um, but if you want a true healing with me, um, you can contact me at the, you know, everything. It's down below, I'm sure. Um, but a reading is much more about bringing things into conscious awareness. Um, and you'll be doing a little bit of your own healing, your own divine healing, you know, the universe will be working its magic with you and you can probably feel it. Um, so we're going to start, I'm going to do my standard four cards. So we have the heart, strength, courage, and soul. The heart is the emotional situation right now that we're experiencing. Um, the strength is this definite thing that we are strong at, that we are good at, this beautiful quality that we have. The courage may be something that you think is hard or challenging, but it's just, it's the universal obstacle that's sent our way for the means of our transmutation, our spiritual growth, and it is something that, yes, we are destined to overcome. The last card, spirit, is the spiritual lesson. This can also signify the definitive um, ending, so to speak, that we can look forward to um, coming into our existence and our reality. I'm also going to give okay, one affirmation card to end it all out. Okay. So before we begin, take a moment, center yourself, get comfortable, close your eyes. Start breathing. You might have sounded pretty shock. So, and you may, if you so choose, hold a healing request within your heart. Um, or if not, just be surprised. But thank you, Divine Source, Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Loved Ones divine, universal, conscious love energy, all that is, thank you for speaking to us now, that which we are ready to hear. Thank you for allowing us to understand what is being said. Thank you for this opportunity to listen. I am ready to grow. So, mm, oh my God, if these are all the same cards, I'm going to freak. Our first card, the emotional situation that we're dealing with in the present situation right now is awareness. Um, it is in the upright position. It is telling me okay, um, fear not <laughs> that Ooh, yes, you guys are really experiencing an expansion right now, which is always depressing when we're experiencing it. It is always, always strange because our awareness is actually expanding. More energy is coming in, which can make us anxious. Um, we can feel depressed when we have this beautiful experience and then we our brain isn't there yet. It's a transformational experience, but we are aware that this beautiful transformation 
is happening right before our very eyes. Um, and we have this beautiful, calm, uh, serene sense deep within us, maybe not the personality that we experience, um, but our soul, our soul really is just watching with amusement, knowing that everything's going to be okay, um, knowing that everything is fine, um, and even knowing that's where I'm going to go. You know, I'll wait for the, the ego brain to, you know, quiet down. Um, we are limited, localized consciousness within an experiential realm. And our deeper soul is that connection to the greater divine reality. Um, it is our divine spark. So again, always meditating is going back to that place where there is no separation between the part of me that's having the experience and the part of me that's unlimited. <sighs> We're having a lot of spiritual awakenings right now. A lot, a lot of personal revelations about ourselves, fire signs. Um, a lot of great divine discoveries, a lot of powerful revelations about, you know, people and relationships and love and myself and the emotions that we're having. And we're really seeing the world in a different way that we've never seen before. Um, so it's chaotic in that it's new. It's new. So we might be feeling a little overwhelmed or scared because it's new. But the beauty in the whole thing <laughs> is that you are strengthening your connection and your communication with that divine aspect of yourself, with your divine universal connection, okay? You are seeing things from a higher perspective, from the true light of within your soul. And that's a beautiful experience to be having, and I understand Yes, it could be very strange. And you could be feeling a little bit like you don't know who you are anymore. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you're feeling. You don't understand because you used to do this. And it's like, I don't want to do that anymore. But it's you're becoming aware of your unconscious behaviors. You're becoming more conscious. Now, here's the interesting and beautiful thing, as always. Um, your strength, we have financial and material changes, which is really telling me that <laughs> even though you seem to be afraid about all this change that we're, and this, just this new definition of self, this new orientation within your world and your reality, and things might physically be changing and unsettling, where jobs could be changing, or this or that, who knows? Maybe you're graduating school. Maybe you're moving to a new part of the country, or I don't know. Your strength, when you choose to use it, you are a powerful manifester, and you are great at making change. You are great at moving forward. And you're a little frazzled right now by this new experience, this new awareness, this new consciousness It has literally grown and you feel bigger but it's strange it's like a teenager your body gets bigger but you're not sure how to orientate in it yet so this is really a big message to calm down and breathe um, when you return into that source part of yourself you can see that this is your strength and you may be fearing for your material well-being and this and that uh, the angels and source are really just saying you're gonna be fine it's that same awareness that we have here in the face of the man. These are the same cards I got for myself earlier. Just a little bit rearranged. Your courage, your challenge is finding balance. Um, and again, you are very powerful at making changes. But maybe that's what's scaring you. Because you're having this bigger awareness about how your how you fit in the greater world. And it's doing this pride ego thing a little bit about, do I matter? Am I really cool? Do I deserve to be? You're seeing how your choices influence other people for good or bad. That's making you stop taking action. And yes, there is a little bit of that selfishness of, which is not bad, that self 
selfish concern of how am I going to survive? What about my money? What about my finances? What about my house? What about rent? What about, you know, payday and food? Like those are very vital, important things to be doing and you need those in order to feel stable and grounded. Um, balance. <laughs> You're being asked to balance yourself. Again, take a moment, go to meditation, do whatever it is that you need to do because you were truly capable of experiencing balance within yourself. It is really a matter of almost commanding calmly your energies to just return and to breathe and to go within yourself. This is your call to be reflecting if you do not reflect during Mercury retrograde. Take the time to, yeah, you feel uncomfortable making actions, rash actions, you know, yang, yang, yang. Be a little bit yang right now, yin. Um, go within, go within, just don't make choices just yet, okay? Don't, you know, make a lot of changes yet. Find that place of balance centeredness before you make any choices. And then the clarity is going to be so much more apparent. And you're going to know what the correct step to do is, okay? The spiritual lesson, this is a different card, and this is a very good, good card for you guys. We have shadow. So really, <laughs> you are being asked to confront your shadow, to be asked, you're being asked to confront the parts of you that you don't like, that maybe you've been ignorant of, that you've been unconscious of. Um, yeah that you've normally been running away from. Um, again, with that whole awareness thing and that pride thing, um, and that need to control things when it goes into your financial and material challenges and changes. You're great at taking action, um, but they were unconscious before. And it seems as though a lot of them were from places of fear, which is really just love of self. There's nothing wrong with love of self. It just means that you're in need of love for yourself, which is why you're afraid. You need to go within the cave of your soul and see the real you and let that shine. Um, once you realize that your shadow is just this hurt child part of you, part of you, not all of you, and nor are you, just the parts that you like about you. You are whole, whether you realize it or not. So there's just parts of you that you just need to be shining some love and light into that you will <laughs> be doing. And you'll be getting a great deeper understanding of yourself, the multifaceted parts of yourself. Um, be it yin yang, physical, spiritual, you're going to be seeing things in a, in a clearer way than you saw before. You've been unconscious a little bit and seeing things from a very narrow scope of just the things that you like. And then you're going to be opened up to things that you don't like, that you fear, but are just totally going to make you a stronger spiritual badass. And then after that is when those two lines of good and bad disappear. And it's all just love. And you'll get there. Okay. So here's your affirmation um, that is important for you. Love it. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Say that over and over again. Not until you delusionally believe it but until you just feel it. And it's like you're singing that as a song to your soul. And as you sing it, um, your soul sings back. And then same thing as the um, illusion of duality. As you continually sing that song, you and your soul become one, as you truly are. But a lot of us, for some reason, are so immersed in our experience and this is okay. You know, we feel a little bit separate from our true selves. We feel that we're not being our true selves. And that's fine. Because you are, <laughs> by being aware of this, you are realigning yourself 
for the source. And okay, um, if you would like some assistance on this, you are welcome to contact me at queer.spirit.guidance at gmail.com or go to my website consciouslove.org and check the services page. I need to reactivate it because um, I'm not accepting money or donations, um, but I will be very soon. Um, but I would love to do some divine energy healing um, and some coaching. Um, we can discuss via Skype. Um, we can do a chakra alignment with divine source um, and have a much more energetic experience. Um, so I hope this reading has brought a lot of things into your conscious awareness. Um, and now it is your turn to make the next steps. And if you feel that I'm a part of that, I am honored and blessed and so very thankful um, to be of service. So thank you so much for watching Fire Science. I hope this was enlightening. It was truly a wonderful experience for me. I am sending you so much love and light. Namaste. Beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're fabu. Good night. <laughs>